All right, so today, eighth grade, we're focusing on adding radicals, okay? Uh, basically, when we add radicals, we do something like this. Two and the square root of five being added to four and the square root of five. Now, these can be added because certain things are the same, okay? First of all, these can be added because we have a square root of five and a square root of five. These numbers right here are what we call the radicand, okay? The radicand. Now, when I add this problem, what I'm actually going to add is the two and the four. All I'm gonna add is the two and the four. The two and the four, are what we call the coefficients. Those are actually the numbers that we add. So when we do this adding radicals, uh, all we do is just add two plus four. So folks, this just can't be that difficult. We're gonna have two in the square root of five plus four in the square root of five, two plus four, is six, I think. You can correct me if I'm wrong. But then we have the square root of five and the square root of five, and we just leave it as the square root of five. Ladies and gentlemen, that is adding radicals. Now let's do one more example of one thing so there's no confusion. Let's say that I have three and the square root of four, and I'm gonna add to that just the square root of four. The rule here is the same as it would be if uh, I was working with variables, okay? I can add these because the radicands are the same. The radicand is four. The coefficients are different. There's no coefficient here, okay? So let's think for a second. Think about if this was a variable. There's not a number in front of it, so what number do we envision there? Ah, I thought I heard it through the screen. It's a one. So I, even though I won't actually put the one there, and when they want you to be a one, there will not be a one, you should envision this as one and the square root of four. So really what you're adding is three plus one. Three plus one is four. And then I just make my square root of four part of my answer. Eighth grade, now you know how to add a radical. This assignment should literally take you about three minutes at the most. All right, so enjoy the break. Talk to you later. Bye.